Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 23rd episode of Smile Precure. Now, last episode, obviously Precure is feeling pretty down, but by the end of the episode they were able to pick themselves up and now we can full-on go for Operation Rescue Candy, which will also involve Operation Fight Piero, maybe Joker, maybe the other bad guys too, I don't know, but either way, the Precure's got a lot to do. I think we can all agree on that, so let's jump in and see how they accomplish the the things they need to do. So, as always, if you enjoy the video, please click the like button and support me on Patreon for access, early access, and access to the picture and picture version. So, let us begin in three, two, one, play. That's our goal right there. <laughs> Making her wish come true. Ultra happy. Dakara. <laughs> yeah, someone who's definitely not ultra happy right now. So they are around too. I knew they were, had to be somewhere. The less important bad guys. Oh, looking pretty cool with the lighting and the wind blowing. Looking pretty badass, you know, break up with her flowing dress. Smile, 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 smile. Pretty cute. Uh. And even if they're not smiling, they are still pretty cure, so nobody can take that away from them. They will they will always be very pretty. Yeah, like if Precure was a, you know, so let's so say they try to make something like Precure in America, modern day Hollywood, you know, America, it would just be called Ugly Cure, you know. It'd be about five sixty-two year old women. Gone through menopause, very ugly, unlikable, just, you know, bitches, basically. If America tried to make this show, that's pretty much what it would what it would be, in case you were wondering. Maybe battling the patriarchy. They would each be a different race. One would be in a wheelchair. One would be non-binary. But yeah, I'm glad I'm watching the Japanese version. Yeah. Smile, 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 smile. Pretty cute. Uh, bum, bum. The free cure's greatest, <laughs> greatest crisis. Do they really need a furigana for those words? Those are some really basic common words. But I know it's a kid's show. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely looks like a bad guy place. <laughs> very, very unpleasant. Very, yeah. It's it's what we do. <laughs> hope you're hope you're ready to lose. Wonder how long they've been waiting in that pose. <laughs> uh Really got to get her down. She's been up there for so long. Oh, that's what we, uh, that's what we plan to do. Smiles charge. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Miyuki really's got the nice spin when she lands. Cure ultra happy. Yeah, I won again, wow. Like, I almost forgot to do it. Like, just last second I threw out something and I won. I guess I'm better at that than I thought. Or she just really sucks, one of the, one of the two. Maybe both. See, Reika, I bet she would just wreck me left and right and rock paper scissors, so I'm glad I'm not facing off against her. Bum, bum, bum.
My high heels ready to go. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye on the prize, Miyuki. Yeah, this is one of my favorite, my favorite anime tropes right here. We go for a rescue, go for a raid of a place, and, you know, yeah, some people handle the initial bad guys, and more when some of them go in deeper, you know. It's a promise. I thought he might, am, I, am. I can't do her accent. I can barely say standard Japanese words. Uh, that's what you think. You guys aren't so tough. Why don't you just lose their stuff constantly? <laughs> Oof. Was that Miyuki? Yeah, she just like a rocket. <laughs> yeah, you're. I'm your. Love that. Love the trope. Your opponent's me, and all that. You're not wrong, but I don't want to hear you say it. <laughs> Take, <laughs> Reka. Oh, Reka. I'm glad you're here. Love you, girl. <laughs> Sneaky tricks. Yep, we read you have the capacity to learn. Rika is a smart one. You know, I personally wouldn't use Kago when talking to a bad guy, but it's just how Reka rolls, I guess. Man, four at once. This is, can't be good. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, it's smack talk. Yeah, yo, I beat him up. Smack him. I <laughs> can't deny that, but I'm still gonna beat you. Got the same color scheme going on. I keep reading it as marijuana time. I'll be on no. Uh, go why, why, why couldn't she have done that more in the show? What the hell? Like, if I had that ability, I'd be using it more often. I'll tell you what. I need an adult. They <laughs> the even got their own little arena, each of them. That's a, that's a nice touch. But uh, I was going to say something. Like, Naruto could, you know, change his form to something kind of like that. He used that in episode one of his show. You know. That was a long show, too. <laughs> what do you call it? The sexy jutsu or something? It's been a long time since I watched Naruto. It was like, it was like 12, you know. Oof. Bro fist. Ow, I did that too hard. Hand-to-hand. Uh, uh, -hand, always so cool to watch. Punch him. Punch him. Kick him. Nice transition. Oof. Man, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> like, at least they were, like, fisting it together. This is just a giant weapon against an unarmed, unarmed precure. <laughs> then we got the, <laughs> the Battle of the Sexy Legs. <laughs> that's something. <laughs> oh no, Shadow Clone Jutsu 2. <laughs> the Harem Jutsu. <laughs> Uh, maybe she does watch Naruto. I feel like Reika drew the short end of the stick here. Has to fight a creepy clown dude. Ooh. Ah, Pop. He will be our shield. At least that wasn't as bad as his giant negative energy blast from last episode. Yeah, Miyuki has one job. <laughs> 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 
Nobody had told me there would be such a steep slope. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> That's why I gotta make sure you're familiar with the terrain before you, you jump in. <laughs> because, yeah, poor Miyuki. You should not sound happy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta... <laughs> plan these things out better. <laughs> oh, it's like Dragon Ball. Kamehameha to, to avoid landing on something. <laughs> That's straight up a Dragon Ball thing. That was cool. Why is that just sitting there? That seems too easy. Yeah, it, it, it was it was too easy. But you got a yellow nose. That's a Kiro I don't know how you say that. Yep, yellow beh. Candy, it could have warned me. <laughs> Oof. There's only one hit and we're already struggling. Oof. Yeah, we're definitely uh, gonna be at the, the low period here in the fight when we're starting to lose. Kashira. <laughs> this just isn't fair. Uh, it's like 1 versus 20. Like, how is that fair? <laughs> Upside down fighting always cool. Uh, I think we need help, guys. Like I said, like we need a power boost or something. Candy's here. She should be able to de Deus Ex Machina something out of give us something. Maybe some bracelets, a new tiara, some equipment to power us up. Yeah, I didn't say you could leave yet. <laughs> yeah, we have one job. And that's to protect Miyuki for her to do her one job. Seriously, seriously, she looks so much better in that form. Why did that? Why was? Why was it not introduced earlier? She is a crybaby, but she's doing her best. I bet getting hit by that giant metal bat. It'll make me cry, I tell you that. We're getting up. You're not going to stop us. <laughs> Oof. It's like a red and blue fist. She is our precious friend. Tomodachi Dakara. Apparently not you, but that's why you'll lose. As always, none of the bad guys understand the value of friendship. <laughs> Wish I had friends. Smile, freak here. It's like, wow, this is stronger than she looks. <laughs> Kagayake. Title drop once more. Yeah, time for the comeback. <laughs> Show you how strong I am. Yeah, the opening shot. 
<laughs> now she is stronger than she looks. <laughs> yeah, catch. See how strong you are, Mr. No Friend. Now smash his... <laughs> Pikachu's a thunderbolt. I think these are all their shots in the opening. <laughs> Punch her in the eye. <laughs> Snap. Fire punch. Stunny fire. Yeah, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> oh! Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's like a boss reaching his second face. <laughs> Thunder! Is that, was that an elbow? <laughs> <laughs> He's thunder. You're super effective. Uh, but that, like, is she just gonna kick like a couple dozen green energy balls, uh, or maybe bounce one around? You know, ricochet. Let's see. She seems not concerned. But she's not done yet. <laughs> yep. Got a couple dozen. <laughs> yeah. When she has just one for each of them, that's when she panics. <laughs> yeah, one will hit you eventually. Ice blade. Kick him. I hate this guy. <laughs> Good thing we're technically not alone. Because he's pop spin invaluable in this fight. Now that's a nice blast. Yeah, try dodging that one, Mr. Card Boy. Oh, right in the nose. Happy shower. And boy, do you need one. Kamehameha. Okay, so we didn't need a power boost. We just had to, you know, power our friendship it up to, to win. That's cool, that's cool. But, seem a little bit tired though. And we're not even done yet. We still gotta deal with uh, Piero, right? Because he was summoned. That'll be the real challenge. Which might be safe for next episode, because we don't have a lot left. And that might be him. Are we just able to make that jump now? Even though we couldn't before? Yeah, that's concerning, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Ooh! You know, I almost expected to make a crater. But yeah, siblings are united. Yeah, it's not over yet. <laughs> I have so missed you, Candy. Give us some time, Yuki. Have a bit of patience. Uh, although we may not have a whole lot of time. Is that a foot? No, it's a hand. Yeah, just giant clown. Yeah, but they're best to be avoided if you can. Yeah, this guy's trouble. Yeah, that that's probably not going to be something that we get up from. So we got to get out of here. Because they got back up after, you know, Joker shot them last episode, but you don't get back up after that. After that, It was planet-scale damage. And this isn't Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Boo! You <laughs> get out of here. Yeah.
。絶対負けないクルー。We are precure. Okay, here it is. Pegasus Day. Wasn't there like a Pegasus Day? <laughs> Didn't I talk about that a couple episodes ago? But yeah, new equipment, new toy. Let's go, guys. Show some Pegasus love. That's a sense I never thought I'd read. <laughs> a very majestic one for each of them. Oh, we have new costumes. Oh. <laughs> Princess happy. <laughs> they're, prin they're all princesses. <laughs> Not to be confused with Princess Peach. <laughs> Princess Beauty. <laughs> This is the upgrade I was waiting for. <laughs> the princess form. <laughs> Fly, Pegasus. Beat me to victory with my fellow princesses. Oh, wow. That was... Wow. Oh, that was really nice. They are going to hit a lot on the animation budget for this. Because I think they were the star constellation thing. That was gorgeous. But yeah, let's see if we can put up a fight now. Ha! Ah! Oh, damn. Yeah, we, we, we upped the output a little bit there. <laughs> like smoking, like a blowing up a gun. Happy smiles. Ultra happy smile precure deluxe edition. It's really going to be that easy, though. I mean, I know we got a power-up, but... Did we just one-shot the final boss? <laughs> like, wow. I think Akane looks the most different. <laughs> We're definitely ultra-happy now. <laughs> yeah, I think I might be stumped out right there. <laughs> Because once you hit the, the screenshot button, and then I'm like, the, the cursor is on the wrong, clicked on the, last clicked on the wrong thing, so I had to re-click on the, the video player to be able to, to be able to screenshot, but I, I got it in time. Anyway. Yeah, they just kind of wrapped it up in this episode, surprisingly. So, assuming there's no, like, second phase of the boss, I guess next episode's going to be a, a, a relaxing one, a chill episode. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's only eleven forty. I got I got some time left before. Gotta get ready for work. Not enough to do another video, but... Waku, waku, doki, doki, booty, cue, uh... But enough where I can get some editing done. Bum, 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 bum. I think it's still just a preview afterwards, though, right? Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. This, yeah, I definitely don't want to see the preview on this one. <laughs> but, uh, okay. That was the 23rd episode of Smile Precure. And yeah, this man, where do we even begin with this episode? Like, uh, pretty much climax of the arc, right? So, as usual, as you, you generally expect them to take to, to, to bring out all the stops for, for the sort of thing, like really throw the animation budget you know, at, at the screen, you know, have some really cool, good stuff. And I would say they definitely did. We got each of our individual, individual pre cures fighting 1v1 in various main bad guys, right? Not just the Akanda summonings, right? We got now taking on. Our witch with her, you know, uh, young magic technique. I'm not even sure what to really call that, but you know, that was that was tricky. We have Akane taking on, uh, 
uh, she took on the wolf, right? Yeah, she took on the wolf, wolf boy. You know, usually a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Pleasure to watch. We had Pikachu, uh, yeah, yeah, Yoe taking on Oni. Reika taking on Joker. So, yeah, pretty much just holding down the, uh, you know, the, the front-line people, right? So Miyuki could go rescue Candy, right? That was her job. And it was naturally going to be her job because she's Candy's caretaker, basically, right? So... It was always going to be Miyuki's job, but I said during the reaction, I love that sort of thing. You know, I'll take I'll take this guy on. You go on ahead, and, and then the guy's like, ah, as if I'm going to let you do that. And then she like blasts him. It's like I, I'm your opponent. One of my favorite tropes in anime and like battle anime. <laughs> That's always been one of my favorite tropes. You know, especially if they do it like progressively. You start with four people. You know, one person stays behind to deal with this guy. You know. And the next person, one guy stays behind with him, and then three more go forward. They didn't do it quite like that here. They just did four at once, which is fine. It's not how I prefer it to be done, but it, it, it it's, it's not like a bad thing or anything. If they want to do it that way, it, it, it's fine. <laughs> but, you know, especially because we're like in a outdoor area, the one I'm describing about works a little bit more if you're like in a castle or fortress kind of thing with like corridors and stuff where it's not just one big area where a bunch of people can do stuff. Even though they did kind of, you know, separate them into little arenas it's still a different beast being outside than inside of a building so i do kind of i do think it makes a bit more sense in this sort of context but anyway point is i enjoy i enjoy this sort of thing and the fight in itself looked great really enjoyed like i said hand-to-hand -hand combat with the kane always a pleasure to watch yeah yo you know the whole like i may be a crybaby but you know I, I got guts i'm gonna i'm gonna do my best you know i always enjoy that stuff with yayoi she like grabs his lady sovereign from leaving still crying still fighting all great to see Reika, you know, just, I just enjoy seeing Reika fight in general. She has that, she's be pre-cure beauty for a reason, you know, very majestic, graceful, always a pleasure to watch her pretty much do anything, really. So, and, she, and the fact that she was taking on the most powerful opponent, arguably, you know, really, really admire that, doing her best there. Also, yeah, the shots, like a, like a Kanye with a giant boulder, like, th those are definitely, like, I don't know if it was all of them or not, but yeah, they definitely showcased at the very least a lot of the cool little shots from the opening. Because yeah, the Akane left in the giant boulder is definitely iconic from the opening, especially. But I think the other ones were, were there as well. But as usual, in these sort of pre-cure climax arcs, we did have a point where we looked like we are going to lose. We stand back up and win. Like it sounds, you know, when you say it that way, but it's always satisfying to watch, right? And uh, yeah, we did rescue Candy, took them down, but the second part was P Piero, right? He got summoned, and a little bit, definitely too powerful for us to take down uh, normally, but luckily we do have the uh, decor collection, and that, that allowed us to uh, become Pegasus Power Princesses. There's a lot of peace in that sentence, but but pretty much, yeah, pretty, pretty Pegasus Powered Princesses. Say that three times fast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks great. The outfit's almost wedding dress-ish. Like, like I think the hairstyles even changed a little bit. Like, had a look like slightly, but they you know, they look great. A lot of a lot of animation thrown into that. It all looks. I definitely want to rewatch all that again later. But even enjoy the touch, like blowing off the wand or whatever. But huge pout blast of pre cure energy. Just really sad. Words don't really do that part justice, but it pretty much was executed as well as I would I would want a scene like that in a pre cure show to be executed. Like it blew. The animation quality, it blew past my expectations for sure. Like they definitely saved a good chunk of it for that, which I appreciate. But it seems like we just, yeah, essentially one shot the, the boss. So, you know, either either he's not quite finished yet or, yeah, next episode is just going to be nice and chill because they're not going to bring up the new bad guy just yet next episode, right? Whether it's just worrying about this guy being resurrected again or getting some kind of different new bad guy, whatever they decide to do, they're not going to do that immediately next episode. We're going to have a breather, I, I think. I mean, I can't guarantee anything, but I, if I was writing this show, I would give the girls a, a, a little break, you know, a little breather, like have a little bit of time to focus on just hanging out and going to school. But you, know, you never know. But, but I, I think they deserve a one episode break, don't, don't you guys? But yeah, really good episode. I, I pretty much have no complaints. The fighting was great to watch. The, the friendship was great to watch. Candy being rescued, happily hugging Onichan that they that she's been reunited with. Everyone's happy and safe, and they got to enjoy being Pegasus princesses. Uh, just I don't know, the whole smile princess thing. 
I, I like that. I mean, it's kind of an obvious thing, obvious element to throw into a pre-cure show at Princesses because the target demographic, of, uh, target demographic of this, I'm sure they would like the idea of being a princess, you know. So it makes perfect sense. Can't, can't, can't knock it. So. But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say on the episode. I just, I just really hated Joker, so I'm glad to see him be vaporized. Oh yeah, I gotta love the Reka, or not Reka. Now, you know, like, the leg, the leg combat, you know, crossing legs. That was also kind of fun to watch, but. <sighs> but yeah, that's pretty much it, so. Yeah, we're more or less wrapped up this arc of the, of the series, so I'm curious to see how things are gonna go in the next arc. I look forward to seeing that, so. Don't be look forward to me seeing that. So yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.